Hey guys, it's 109 degrees in Bakersfield, headed for who knows what. But I want to tell you about a ride that we took at Tehachapi Mountain Park. Stay tuned. Olivia, a friend of ours who lives in Tehachapi, recommended this ride. It starts at 5,500 feet. And she told us it was at least 20 degrees cooler. We believed her. So we gathered up a few friends and we headed to Tehachapi. The park had plenty of campsites available for day use. The first one even had a paddock with a water trough for the horses. If you want to camp over a night, it's $18 a night. While it was going to be over 100 degrees at the valley floor, when we saddled up at 9 a.m., it was a cool 72 degrees. We took the out and back trail to Tehachapi Mountain Peak. The trail was a bit rocky and the elevation gain was nearly 1,800 feet. It was a three mile out ride and our sea level living horses were huffing and puffing. There was ample opportunity and plenty of shade to take some breathers, which we did. Once at the top, the views of Bright Lake and Cummings Valley were really amazing. The trails were wide in most places and wandered through ponderosa pines, and big oak trees. There was a sign at the park that said a bear had been spotted. We didn't see him, but we did see a couple of deer along the trail. Some of us stayed for a picnic lunch and a chat after the ride. Hey, there was no hurry to get back to the 100 degrees that was waiting for us in the valley. And it gave the horses a chance to take a break too. If you go, make sure your horse is in shape for a mountain trail. And if they're barefoot, you might want to consider boots. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. So until next time, Go have some fun with your horses.